What's up, chat? All right. This is still our duo experimental account, but I think we're just going to play on Salty for this episode just for fun here. Um, because I really wanted to uh, just kind of like try Bly a little bit. Um, just for fun, see what we can get going over here. And um, yeah, so let's give it a try. We've still got the Spiker 16. And then I also have, ooh, this is like the worst part of the day, like to fish, by the way. So this will be a very slow bite rate, but I also picked up a uh, spiker, I think the five or something like that. Thought we could try a couple different, a couple different lures. And then there's also like a nice uh, rough spot overnight if we want to catch some rough here. So I also have the spiker five, so we can try this some too. I feel like the volume is just like a little low. Maybe it's just turned down on my end. Oh, fish on, by the way. This is such a fun little setup that we have. Now, it is little. So, like, if we hook into too nice of a grayling, or certainly too nice of a, a even a trout, which are the fish we want to catch we could get in trouble here, but all right. So first fish on the, the spiker five. Oh, that is a nice brown trout. Oh, can we just get this in? This is a nice fish chat. So this shows you like this size brown trout right on the edge of being a struggle. And that was only 868, you know, not very big at all. One thing I'm noticing we did on that last one. We really let it drift for a minute, didn't we? Like all the way down to the bottom. Do we have any points in spin fishing? Once it gets to be overnight, let's look at our points. While we're fishing for rough or whatever. That one brown trout almost makes it worth coming in the first place. So you notice that the lure is not really coming down the it, with the current. It seems like it's just sort of sinking down the bottom and then sitting there. So we're kind of like hoping we'll catch something on the drop, I guess. Once it hits the bottom, it's probably nothing's going to happen then. Oh, it's another brown trout. Goodness, guys. This is the brown trout killer right here. Last episode, I was talking about how we just need silver and ultimately you're not getting that much experience catching all the little like bottom fish we were catching at winding. Well, that's not the case in this spot with these brown trout. If we can catch these, these consistently, you will see that experience bar start to move. Ooh, that is a pretty brown trout, man. That is three in a row. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I haven't been locking it. I don't know if it really matters. 
in terms of getting that bite on the drop. And we're just doing a 22 retrieval speed. Sometimes I do a little faster than that here, but so far this is no complaint. We're catching the brown trout, so. This is just such a fun little setup. Oh my goodness, such a fun little setup for Belaya. Like I was saying before, is it possible that we could get blown up and not be able to get a fish in? Absolutely. Would it stink to lose a 50 silver lure? Yes, but it is just plain fun. There's no way around it. All right, just for fun, let's throw the spiker 16 again. Speaking of fun, it would be fun to get out trolling at Corey on this account. Is that also a brown trout? It looks like it. We're about to hit 15%. Is 15% significant? I feel like it is. Yeah, spoon. Speaking of Corey. I don't think we'll get a bite this late, right? All of them have been like early to mid bites. If we get something this late, it'll be like a chub or a perch. I'll take a perch though. Opened it with spoons with a crazy perch right there at the end. That's pretty cool, chat. That is pretty cool. Have we made back our 50 silver on that lure? That lure was in stock at Winding, so I just grabbed it before traveling here. The spiker. There's a couple different ones I was looking at, but I'm glad I got this one. It seems to have done really well in the brown trout so far. those late uh, perch bites. <laughs> Looks like we're getting it pretty close to the rock there. We are at 7137. The only thing I will say about uh, 
bite rate is the fact that we haven't caught more of these is a little interesting. Like the ultimate spots to me are more like when both brownies and grayling are popping off. But it was really nice here in the beginning, especially to just be able to like hit nice brown trout after nice brown trout. And although we've had a few times where we actually haven't caught a fish, we've had to just like recast immediately. I would say the bite rate has still been pretty healthy overall. And I think if we could just cast a little further, that would actually probably help as well. When that happens like that, I just want to keep reeling, even though that fish popped off. I mean, it was obviously it was a big fish and it may just be that it was, who knows, maybe it was a timing that we never would have gotten in and the hook was too small for it or something, but, um, it also could have been a trophy brown trout for all I know. So, uh, but when it happens, I just keep reeling, nothing you can do about it, but sometimes it seems like a, the same or a similar fish will like hit it again right afterwards so don't freak out or stop you know stop your retrieval or whatever when that happens just try to keep it going in case you get it again or get something similar i'm gonna lower that friction brake just a little bit Man, did I call it or what, chat? Chub and perch at the end here. All right, I'm going to change retrieval speed actually up to 28, I think. A little faster. Let's see if we still get bites or if that might be a little too fast. Speeding it up on that is pretty fast. Might go back down to 25. If anything, I think we could even go slower than 22, but I also wanted to try a little bit faster. 22 has been working though. All right, let's go 25 here. such a heavy burn like I mean it is true that Timon can be more active up here than anywhere else on the map in my experience and it is like early evening if we're going to run into one this might be when oh it jumped jump again let me get a view of you 
I don't want to lose it just because I've got it pointed down. It's just going to pop off at some point during all this. How much more room does it have over there? We're down to about a quarter of a spool left. I don't think he can spool this straight ahead. It's funny, I was watching a, a clip that somebody had clipped from Twitch of me p pulling in a two point something kilo asp and the leader I had on was like 5.2, right? So much stronger than this leader. And it just wore me out. Like a 2.8 asp on a 5.2 liter and it was just brutal so some of these fish are so strong on this size liter 3.2 I mean this is gonna feel like a monster when it may not be a monster frankly but if it's not a monster it also will get tired If it is a monster, it may not get tired for a while. So someone else just caught a 1.7 asp who was fishing, I think, in the same spot that we are. I was kind of watching them catch brown trout as well. I would say this could be an asp. This would not surprise me at all if it's an asp and very small asp. But it feels like he is kind of getting tired. He sort of just jumped again. We've got his momentum turned. He may not be able to turn it back. It just depends on how tired he is. Oh, he's kind of moving a little bit. I think he's pretty tired. I don't really want him being to the left of us. It's, it's hard enough reeling him in. If we have to reel against the current too, that's still going to be a little annoying at this point. All right, he's coming in, folks. All right, there's a chance to get a look at him. He's not belly up or anything like that.
it is just a really nice brown trout. So 1.7 brown trout. Woo. Every fish is fun when you've got a setup like this. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, so that fish was 23 silver by itself. So we have paid for the lure now. Hmm, bleak order. All right, so let's try just to see how it goes. There is, let's see, 68.45. And um, mm, we could try that too. All right, let's do that. So let's see here. We're going to do our Fortuna feeder and we're going to do roach mix. Mayfly larva and I don't know. Do we want to do about a 10 clip? I actually kind of want to just take the clip off. I'm just going to cast it. Same thing. Let's take the clip off. And it's 24. We could put So does that mean I have a 22 on the other one? Yeah. All right, let's see how this goes. So we're getting a bite on this. We probably don't want to do that overnight. This is like, this this rig is really meant to catch big roach. We probably want to do that more like in the morning. We'll probably switch that to um, this one in just a second, but I thought, hey, let's just try it. And we have so much ground bait here. We could try regular worm as well once we do switch it. But this should be a pretty nice rough spot. Um, let's see. So these has size eight hooks with fluff. One trick you can do, how much do these weigh? 0.55. That's in the water. Actually, it doesn't matter which they weigh in the water. It's their mass before they hit the water that we care about right now. By the way, six silver for every one of these hundred gram rough. Um, okay, so let's look at this one more time. 0.63 grams. So we want a treble hook that's size eight. that weighs more 
not less. Everything so far weighs less. Okay, 0. 0.64. It's a little bit more, probably not enough to justify it. So I don't really want to change the hook size. This is actually the exact hook that's on there, I think. I don't necessarily want to change the hook size, although you could. You could go up in hook size a little bit. But I really was just hoping to see, you know, is there anything that... What did we say? 6'4"? Pretty much the same. And we're not high enough level to use that. Is this what we said it was? So if it was in stock, you could go to the size six maybe and get a little bit more weight and that might help you cast it just a little bit more. I feel like there's a, um, there's a particular hook that people use for this probably um just to try to add a little more weight to their their casts and i think people have actually told me before what they often use and i just don't remember all right so this probably will be good here, but again, this is not for overnight. This is for daytime. If you're trying to catch big old roach. Okay. All right, so how much are the smaller ones worth? The smaller ones, 1.9. It's amazing how much it goes up, like if you can catch the big rough. Instead of clipping this spot, I'm just kind of casting it out about 50%, 40 to 50%, something like that. making sure this is pattern master in line is at 50% though we're not too far away from in line cafe for this place um that's a lot of silver for bleak to be honest what is it six over 74 like would double our silver
So nice seeing those 100 gram ones come in. Uh, 87 gram, sort of the in-betweener, five silver, 100 gram, almost six silver. We're making pretty fast silver here at Belaya right now. We need to go for bream. I think we'd probably level our bottom fishing a little better. Catching a little bigger fish right now, maybe. There we go, 46.7. I'll be right back.
All right, we get some good ones. Did we get some good ones? I think we can go ahead and go set up for bleak now, right? It's a little early, but... Could work. Look at how good mosquitoes been. All right. Wait, where are we gonna? Where are we gonna try bleak at? Let's see. This is like my favorite Belaya bleak spot. I don't. Doesn't necessarily mean it's active, but all right. What do we want to try first? I mean, it says that casters have been doing good here. And then I always like trying bloodworm and uh, pearl barley. Oh gosh, they're practically the same float. This isn't going to be confusing at all. All right. Which got the bigger one? 40 for Pearl Barley. And 41 for Caster. By the way, neither one of those big enough for the cafe order. So we may not do the cafe order. Like we'd have to get pretty close pretty fast, I would say. like it just had a bite right there at the end I think I just got really confused there. Um, what in the world? I think I picked up the feeder. I, I don't know. Something strange happened. I also am not sure with the current if it's actually worth it to fish with two floats. way out there what a cast yeah i'm just not gonna sit here all day we can try pearl bar i mean we can try blood worm just for fun of course fly works as well although i don't know the main issue is like they need to be so big the bleak that um it's pretty much like you'd need to do it all day probably hey <laughs> the 
benefit of blood worm. Um, to hit that cafe order, you probably have to do it most of the day, which is fine because you'd catch a ton of bleak. It'd be worth a lot of silver plus the cafe order. I'm just, I mean, we've already been going long enough. I'm probably just not going to sit here doing it all day. In fact, let's go cat let's go cast the spinning setup a couple more times. That would actually be fun. Alright, that might be a bleak. It went down so fast it wasn't a roach. Yeah. Alright, so let's get our arrow back out. And let's just see morning bite. It's just, we'll, we won't go long, just cast or two. How much are those 40 gram bleak worth? Like a silver? 2.8. Not bad. Again, they add up. They add up. Morning asp bite. That's interesting. This one in a little more aggressively it's not quite as big as that last one it's just not like crazy running on us it is a little asp though it's like these morning asps 1.2 need a spiker like this for a sunny day like it is our other one which has been really good but it's also so dark like it's kind of think it's for better for overcast or evenings bright sunny day here All right, let's do one cast at a slower speed again, and then we'll wrap it. Let's go like 18. See, perfect, 18 retrieval speed. It's a nice little grayling, 16.1% spin. All right. A little, tro a little slower retrieval speed. Let's see how this does. Not 
too good. I think we're going to get one more brown trout if we cast one more time. Let's go back to the original retrieval speed that we started using when we first got here, 22. Let's catch one more brown trout. Hey, at least it's a marker. We'll take it. 543 gram. It's been good. Good silver. Good leveling up spin fishing. A little bit of leveling up bottom fishing, although we really got to focus that at some point on bream and stuff like that. Uh, there's not going to be anything in the cafe unless something changed. All right, let's search it by price. 150 silver man just adds up at Belaya sometimes doesn't it so we're almost to 1200 we're doing good chat we're doing very very good all right as always thanks for watching i will see you next time tight lines